What's going on, everybody? Happy Saturday. Hopefully, you got the weekends off. I just noticed my maps are a little bit crooked, so I'll get those fixed later. I was uh, using the old, uh, what the heck do you call those things, lint brushes on to get them cleaned up from uh, earlier. And yes, I will be live probably around 6 p.m. Eastern today for the 4,000 subscriber giveaway. So if you're around the free, stop in. If you're a winner and you want me to open your box up live, we can do that. All right, let's talk about some PSA July numbers. We hit this briefly in overtime last night. And wow, yeah, you guys were great in overtime with the uh, comments coming in, the discussions and everything. Uh, really enjoyed learning some stuff on FedEx and how their insurance works. And that's the idea of a lot of this stuff is so that there's people out there that have knowledge that probably you might think that everybody are a good chunk of people know it, and there really isn't. So we're sharing knowledge is the biggest thing out there. All right, let's do this PSA July numbers, and let me find. Oh, maybe that's not it. Nope. Wrong thing. Hold on. Boom, there we go. There we are. So this was done on July 27th, and this is one of the greatest articles that I found out there on this stuff. I want to say the numbers, and when I scroll down there, I'll know it for a fact, but I want to say it was through July 23rd, which means that they will have surpassed June's numbers by like 1% or maybe 2% more than what they did in June. Granted, we had an extra day, but we also had 4th of July holiday to me, so it kind of evens out. So... As of that time frame, PSA has graded over 600,000 cards and is examining 26,000 cards per day. Those are huge numbers compared to where we were at a year ago or even six months ago or even three months ago. The numbers are going up, which is good. Um, if you did miss overtime, I, I have a, what do they call it, the ultra-modern value Complete through date was 21 January. Has gone into grading early la uh, earlier this week. I think it was like Tuesday it went in grading. So when you see those numbers for PSA, that's the oldest uh, one out there that they've uh, completed for the day. But remember, that's not group sub people. That's people that have paid memberships and stuff like that submitting their stuff through. So they are way ahead. I can see, and I was talking to Joey about this, I could see PSA probably being caught up or close to being caught up by the end of the year, the way this is going. If they're not, because I have to go back and look where I was at my complete through dates. Originally, my thought was they would have value cleaned up by 1 April. Um it might be quicker. I don't know how many are left out there, but I can see maybe ultra modern with a complete through date. Even if we add four, what is that? September, October, November, four months to it. That means they'll be in the May complete through dates by December, which is about the time frame of some of my latest ones on there. So I'm just thinking out loud. I could be completely wrong because towards the uh increase in pricing there was chunks that were set out there and some people caught some stuff right afterwards so it could be some later dates i don't know but these are just ideas off of what i saw so when you're looking at this article and this is all done on sports car sports collectors daily really has some great interesting information on to it um most of this stuff was basketball why well, basketball is global. It's the hottest market out there. It's where you can hit a big hit and get paid a lot, but you could also uh, go bankrupt and lose your house if you're trying to get into breaks and opening up product too. They say it goes to the data compiled through gemrate.com through 23 July. So I was right, the 23rd, at a 1% higher rate than before. So June they did 736,000 cards in 30 days. As of July 23rd, they were at 600,000. If you use the average of 26,000 a day, that's a, it's an increase. Very well, a big increase. Um, they're talking May, between May and July, they've examined over 2 million cards. That's a lot, in my opinion, that they've done. 
I know a lot of people are going to say that they didn't get fair grades and all this stuff. And this is my thoughts that I, I put into overtime last night. Yes, there's a lot of new graders out there. PSA's done what they can. They've done more to what I see than what Beckett has done. They've put more surveys out now talking about return shipping with FedEx and all this stuff here recently. But in the overall, we cannot always just blame PSA always for our grades. We're supposed to look over our own cards, and I have a video coming out talking about that there. Um, a lot of people are paying others to do it, and their, their um, subjectiveness is off, even if you're using a, there's a new thing called scorecard. Yeah, scorecard. So I'll tell hit all that stuff up later. But it really starts at the manufacturing companies because they've really overproduced it. I mean, think about this with an open mind. PSA gets the cards from the collector. The collector, we're getting them basically somehow from the companies themselves, either Toss, Panini, Upper Deck, or Leaf. We can go on with other ones. But I'm just going to talk Tops and Panini. Panini has just mass produced. Look, they've gone select nuts, optic nuts, different variations, different types of boxes from... Oh, Hobby, Retail Choice, T-Mall, um, you name it. And then you look at all the different variations that are now put into retail, like the Blasters, Cellos, Mega Boxes, all have different types of cards. Well, Chase cards, or whatever you want to call them. But they overproduced the bases, the silvers, the court sides, and all that. So by them doing it, then it gets floated to the collector because we're the ones buying it. Now, we're supposed to be the ones looking to see what cars to send in. And, you know, a lot of people still see the dollar signs on everything's going to be worth all this crazy money. And we just send everything into PSA. We create the backlog. PSA then has to adjust to it. And when, they, when I'm talking about adjusting, pricing goes into it, hiring new graders. They got that new building. Collectors Universe did. And now you got to start thinking that overall, now they got to pay for that building, um, all the utilities that go with it, the employee salaries. I'm sure when you start thinking about it, cleaners that come in there and do their job and all that stuff. So they had to do something. I know they I got it. They get a lot of cards graded and everything like that, but they base it off of quarterly earnings and they got to have something up there. So I could see why they raised them, but not where they raised them at. All right, let's keep going into this because <laughs> I started going on my tangent like from last night. So the bulk of the cards graded in July are basketball. They're saying roughly 214,000. We're looking at additional 50,000 cards that were basketball that were submitted uh, and graded this uh, past month. Pokemon was the third. Oh, base. I'm sorry. Basketball was the most. Then baseball at 164. I'm sorry. I had a number before for basketball wrote down here. I don't know where I got it now. But Pokemon was the third most, which makes sense because Pokemon exploded and everybody sent their stuff in trying to get it graded and, you know, make the flip the money on it. Then football, hockey, and soccer. Don't know if that's by the exact order or what because I'd be surprised that hockey's over soccer, but could be. The other part... That we're looking look at now. We know we had the Jordan special going on during uh, part of the time for the quarterly special. They they said they plowed through thousands of Michael Jordan cards. I just don't like the word plowed. I, I have different pictures in my head when I hear the word plowed. Um, in the first twenty three days of this month, nearly twenty two thousand by. Were nearly 22,000 is what they did for Jordans, followed by LeBron at 16,000, Kobe at 12,5. Then here's the shocking part Jaw and Zion's over 9,000 a pop. That's a high thing. And this is why when I do the PSA 10 pop account, we see Zion now in, you know, number one on the Prism rookie cards being graded. Now, Grant, I'm, that's just the base rookie cars, but it gives you an overall idea that why Zion bases have gone down, why you don't see a whole lot of Zion autos being up for sale, because if you look at this year's second-year products 
unlike his rookie year, there's less he signed. If you do the math overall, you'll see it. I think that's going to be a normal thing, just like how Luca was after his rookie year. There's not those high productions in their autos. You know, Luca, Zion say in 10 years, they start getting talked about, you know, being in a top 50 or top 25 all time. Those autos are going to be worth something, whether they were a thick stock card grade in 8.5, 9, or whatever. People start paying premium for it because you limit the amount of supply and the demand will be higher. So just thoughts on it. And I think that was the end. No, I'm sorry. Here's the last part. Kevin Durant. Kevin Durant has an impressive resume. When you're talking about three gold medals, you're talking about championships, you're talking about you know all-star appearances, all that stuff across the board. If you look at Kevin Durant cards, they were very stagnant for a while because of the injury. Then he got this huge push, and then things settled down. But if you look at his resume towards some of the greats, and I don't want to say greats of the game, but some of the higher priced guys that came out plus or minus five years of his rookie card, I don't think he's got enough love. But you think about a lot of people when he left Oklahoma City and went to Golden State to chase championships, they they pretty much threw him you know, away. They didn't want him. Just called him a sellout and all this other stuff. Where, like, LeBron leaves Cleveland, joins a super team in Miami. People are still LeBron, LeBron, LeBron. Now, you do have your haters very, always out there, so don't get me wrong on it. But I'm just surprised Durant's stuff isn't worth a lot more than what it is right now. Considering 10s on the tops, um, the black border and the orange border are very hard because there's a lot of whiting on to it. So just stuff that I keep in back of my mind. And I don't mind sharing stuff like that because I, I just it don't make a lot of sense for Durant. Even if he goes out there with the Nets and wins a championship, they're going to start talking about, oh, he had Harden, he had Kyrie. Well, how often are they all healthy? Durant, in my opinion, carried Team USA this year. He was the one why they stayed so long in the playoffs this year. He was a beast after injury, being out for a year. I mean, I, I can't really talk good enough about Durant. I was not a fan of his for a while, and I started noticing things in Golden State with him. It started making me, you know, look at him. But I, I think Durant is a beast out there. He scores, he does a lot of different things out there that just go unnoticed because there's no focus really on him except for when they're in the playoff mode or you're out there breaking or about to break a record or move up on some list in scoring. But, yeah, if you looked at like I said, it grew 104% the population in Durant cars, which makes sense, more than any other athlete, because people started pushing that hype train onto him. A little bit too much, which, you know, some people paid the penalty and got bounced back down. Um, PSA grade over 2,400 copies of the Topps rookie card. Makes sense. And it says, look for more of his 2007 Topps McDonald's All-American cards to hit the market with PSA rating 2,100 of them this month. If you could find that card, it's a nice looking card. It's back when uh, Tops was basically, uh, you got some cards and some McDonald's stuff. I remember these because they did them with hockey. But the hockey, I think, was only done in Canada during Crosby's rookie year. And there was another one that was released in the States, and I can't think of when it was. But still pretty cool stuff overall. I mean, this here, like I said, is just for general knowledge. It shows PSAs pushing numbers. We may not be happy with the grades we're receiving. It, I Again, do I agree with my grades all the time? No. Do I sometimes get some higher ones? Yes. Do I sometimes get some lower ones? Yes. But overall, if I could sit there and say send 50 cards in and I could pretty much pinpoint 80 to 90% of the grades, what they're coming back as with what I'm seeing, I mean... Yeah, there's going to be some subjectiveness left and right on to it, just like with any company out there. 
And I, I'm going to go back and I got to find the two videos from Beckett where I resent a card in because I didn't agree with it. And it had like two tens, a nine, five, and a nine. No, no, what was it? Was. It was a ten, nine, 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 five for subgrades. It was an Aaron Judge X Fractor rookie auto. Didn't agree with it. Somebody told me to send it back in. And next time it came back, quad nine fives. I mean, one out of four of the grades, subgrades, was the same. So it kind of gives you an idea across the board onto it with it. I mean, maybe two or more. I can't remember. I'd have to look at it. It was crazy, though, with it. It was completely different where I had a 10 subgrade. The nine went to a nine five and stuff like that, or maybe it was two. Yeah, two of the nines went to nine fives onto it, but it just shows that you know back then a lot of people you could afford to resubmit if you didn't agree with it and see what happened. Now, two hundred fifty dollars a card at Beckett, it, and you're waiting three weeks for it. Nah, I'm good. I, I can't do that unless I pulled like some crazy logo man patch or out of five or even maybe out of a. 25 Bowman card that you know I didn't have much invested into it other than hitting a team in a filler or something. But pretty interesting overall. Jordan still people pound away on him. Is just like I said, LeBron Kobe. It brings in this some stuff here with the Morant and the Zions being sent in. It shows they're still overstocked with Pokemon from that big push where everybody started sending this stuff in. Uh, a lot of people sit there and talk about uh, Logan Paul because of what he was doing with Pokemon was one of the reasons. And it very well could be. It very well could have been part of his reason on to it. I don't know if he was trying to flow prices or not, but he was a Pokemon dude for a long time. And I think he was just really happy that he could open up some of that stuff and get them. And he might not have really realized the whole effect of what was going on too. I could see it both ways on to it. I mean, the truth is, only he knows the true answer onto it. And will we ever find out the truth? Maybe not, even though he might be telling the truth. Alrighty, guys, that's pretty much it with the PSA stuff. Um, I know I hit some tangents out there on different things, but pretty good stuff overall from PSA when you're talking volume-wise, it's being done out there. Hopefully it continues up in the upward trend or around that bit of pieces where they're at. Because if you start talking, they're doing 800,000 cards a month. You know, what is that, four months, you're talking another 3.2 million cards being done? That's a big chunk out of that vault. Big chunk. I still think sometime after Labor Day, they're going to release another level too. I'm guessing it'll probably be regular and they might hold on economy. Maybe something to do with around Christmas time on it. And I, even if they open up, it might wait till it's still January and do it, and then float value back sometime next spring to us. No idea where they're going to be at with pricing. Just expect it's going to be expensive. And then they'll probably somehow bring us back into it somehow, some way, whether they're not getting enough submissions or, you know, say product prices decrease to where the values aren't there. They might float that stuff around. Stuff like that there. And I could see other companies follow suit on to it as well. But all right, everybody. Have a good weekend. See you guys a little bit later for uh, the 4,000 subscriber giveaway. Have a good one.